I'm Peter Block here in Anaheim, California at the AHA Annual Meeting for On the Scene. To my left is Stephen Weisport from the VA in uh, Pittsburgh. And we have uh, been talking about the PRESERVE trial. This is a trial that finally Stephen puts the nail in the coffin of acetylcysteine. Does acetylcysteine work or does it not work and what's the best way to minimize uh, renal dysfunction after a heart cast. So, Stephen, I won't take away all your thunder. Tell me about PRESERVE trial. So, PRESERVE was a multi-center trial conducted in the United States and uh, Australia, New Zealand, and Malaysia. And its uh, goal was to determine the efficacy of intravenous sodium bicarbonate compared to intravenous saline and the efficacy of uh, N-acetylcysteine. So, those three were the randomized. Did you have a placebo group as well? Yeah, so uh, the bicarbonate group was compared to the saline group, and the placebo group was, uh, the N acetylcysteine group was compared to the placebo group. It was a two by two, so everyone who was involved in the trial, all the patients received two different interventions, um, but the comparison was bicarbonate versus saline and N acetylcysteine versus placebo. I really like this two by two design. I think it's a great trial. So let's cut to the chase. What'd you find? So, what we found was that compared to saline, intravenous sodium bicarbonate does not reduce um, the risk for what was a primary endpoint that was uh, comprised of death, need for dialysis, or a 50% or greater increase in serum creatinine at 90 days. And bicarbonate also did not reduce the incidence of contrast-associated acute kidney injury compared to intravenous saline. And with regard to the uh, N-acetylcysteine placebo comparison, N-acetylcysteine did not reduce the primary endpoint compared to placebo, and it also did not reduce the incidence of contrast-associated acute kidney injury. The roar that we hear are the patients saying, thank God I don't need to take N-acetylcysteine any longer. It tastes terrible, doesn't it? It does, it does. Uh, so I, I, there have been many, many, many studies, uh, and including meta-analyses of N-acetylcysteine, and uh, remarkably, there's still a fair amount of use of it, uh, and I, I think that our trial will finally uh, put an end to the use of N-acetylcysteine, or should put an end to the use of N-acetylcysteine for the prevention of contrast-associated acute kidney injury. So for me, Stephen, it seems to me that the answer here is volume, and it really doesn't make any difference, particularly how you give it, and sodium chloride is as cheap as you can get, right? Just hang a bottle of half-normal or regular saline up there. and. Uh, increase LVD and intravascular volume. Do you agree with that? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think that the key with high-risk patients, that is patients with chronic kidney disease, uh, with or without diabetes, uh, and patients who are at high risk for acute kidney injury following uh, the administration of contrast, that uh, intravascular volume expanding the intravascular space um, at the prior to and at the time of uh, contrast administration and following contrast administration is the most important thing. And that can be accomplished very simply with uh, isotonic saline. Okay, so let me ask you one last question, and this is a clinical one. Does it make a difference whether you give it before, during, or after your angiography? So we didn't specifically look at that question. I think the general thought is that administration of volume prior to, during, and most specifically afterwards to keep urine flow brisk uh, following the procedure is, uh, is, is, is the standard of care. There haven't been good studies that have compared pre versus post fluids. So at this point, uh, the standard of care would be volume expansion before, during, and after the procedure. I must say, I do it before. I like to give the patient a big slug of something. Uh, even if their LVEDs are up a little bit, 15 or 16, I'll give them 250 or 300 cc's very quickly before I give them any contrast. But who knows if that's the right thing to do. As long as you give them lots of volume and keep the urine flowing, that's the important thing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Stephen.